Hey YouTube, this is The Purple One. Thank you for all of your input on what to do with this big white tank. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner. Uh, we pressure washed it and that's so we could give it a little quick paint job, give it a little camo job. But we decided to use it for now. Uh, it is for a five gallon gas storage. Um, probably that's all I'll be able to fit in here. And maybe a few propane tanks. The reason is, I'm trying to get my fuel plan a little bit more advanced than it was. Um, I, I have a bulk tank, and bulk tanks are great, but I like five gallon cans because I can move them quickly. I could jump in my vehicle with 10, 15, 20 and take off. I could, you know, stash them out in the woods. A lot easier than trying to move a big 250 gallon gas tank. Plus, I like it because if you get one hole in a 250 gallon gas tank, guess what? You have a major leak and you might lose all your fuel. You get one five gallon can with a leak, uh, it's, it's easier to deal with from the, the hazmat incident and, and trying to clean it up to the uh, losing everything of 250 gallons. So, this is put in here temporarily. Um, it's going to get moved a little bit over when I take out these trees behind me uh, and then graveled all the way around it. But I'll show you what we did. Gave it a good cleaning so the paint will stick. And then we cut a door. First thing with doors, you can do it with metal or you could do it with plastic, is go ahead and cut this, the hinge side first. And then go ahead and put your hinges on. Drill through, mark them with the marker, drill through, put your hinges on, climb through the top, put the nuts on it. So this is all done first. And then you follow your line to cut this out and it will work perfect. Don't cut your door out and then try to mount the hinges. First cut, mount hinges properly and totally and then finish your three other cuts. You can do this with metal tanks and it will come out really well. We put a hasp on it. We're gonna put a lock on just to keep kids out. Uh, anybody that wants to get in, they're gonna get in. It's not gonna take much, um, but That's our damaged part. We'll fix that tomorrow. We'll definitely put an extension on the outside and put a screening over it so no mice can get in, but it will still, in case we have a problem. I'm gonna patch that hole and then this it will be for an exhaust in the sense of it can, you know, if anything gets smelly in here, it'll go up. So, I have not figured out how I'm going to put the cans in here. I might make some shelves right there so I can stack some. Um, but we'll see, but I'll show you. So tomorrow my goal is to fix this and get some shelves in here and get some five gallon fuel cans in here because there is a serious problem coming. And I don't want to be caught without enough fuel to run tractors, all kinds of other equipment. So I appreciate all of your feedback, all of your suggestions. Um, ultimate goal in probably in a year or two, I already have all the six inch block. I'll build about an eight by eight, maybe an eight by 10 concrete block structure, fill the, fill the every cell with concrete, and then pour a flat top on it made out of concrete and put a metal door on it. And that's my ultimate, but that's probably a good year away. So this is gonna have to suffice for now. Thanks for watching.